So being a homeowner is a significant milestone, but it comes with its own set of challenges and realities that can be kind of overwhelming and daunting, if you will. Here are some of the less glamorous truths about home ownership. One is your maintenance costs. There are a lot of unexpected repairs that can pop up and they can be frequent depending on the age of the home. Newer the home, obviously, the less amount of maintenance items or major maintenance items you're gonna have to handle, okay? Next thing is to think up, think about is the roof, plumbing issues, maintenance. These are all constant expenses, okay? These are things that you're gonna have to take on no matter what at some point if you own a home long enough. Next up, we have property taxes. Property taxes can increase over time, impacting your monthly budget. They are an unavoidable part of home ownership. One thing you could do here in the state of Florida is that you can get your home, your primary residence homesteaded to where your property taxes will only go up a maximum of 3% each and every year. This is very crucial in markets that are appreciating year over year and was super important for the people that bought prior to COVID. Next up, insurance costs. Homeownership insurance is essential, but can be expensive, especially in areas like Florida, prone to natural disasters like hurricanes for us. So insurance has gone up dramatically. Uh, my insurance is probably 4 x since I bought my house in 2019. And just recently, I was able to shop around and find another company to do it less than the, the last company. And this is because new insurance companies are starting to return to Florida. So that's gonna hopefully bring more cost relief to us moving forward because we're gonna have more options, which means more competitiveness amongst the current insurance companies. Next up, we've got market fluctuations. So real estate markets can be volatile. Your home's value might go up one month, might go down the next year over year. Hopefully you're in an appreciating market where your investment would be protected. Three to 4% annually is a very good, safe, um, comfortable appreciation level. Last couple years, we've had 10% in some places, even more in others, and that is not sustainable. That is not healthy over the long term. So we would, I would rather have you know, appreciation rates somewhere in the three to 4% per, percent range because that is sustainable over a long period of time. Again, upkeep and maintenance, regular maintenance issues like cutting the grass, cleaning your gutters, painting. These require time and effort, and if you don't have either one of those, money. So making sure that you have money set aside to do all of your annual things that you're going to need to do as a homeowner. Next, do-it-yourself challenges. Many homeowners try to save money thinking they saw it on HGTV can't be that hard to put in new cabinets. Can't be that hard to replace a toilet. Can't be that hard, can't be that hard. And ultimately they find themselves paying for a professional to do it later on. So if you are not the handy type, don't try to save money on something you have no experience in doing. It will end up costing you more, I promise you. I know from experience, I've taken on several jobs that I should have hired out ultimately to only hire out a professional and ended up losing more money if I, than I would have just hired them to begin with. So be careful of doing some of these jobs that you should actually be hiring somebody out for. And make sure that if you need a permit for the work you're doing, that you get a permit done, okay? That you apply for a permit and you get a permit. If it's a permitted job, you probably shouldn't be doing it, let's be real. Unless you're like a handyman yourself. Energy efficiency is another thing to think about. With the older homes, they might need significant upgrades in order to be energy efficient. All new windows, all new insulation. Those can be very time consuming as well as expensive. Next up, HOA rules. If your home is in an HOA neighborhood within a homeowners association, an HOA homeowners association, there can be strict rules that you're gonna need to follow. So if you have a boat and an RV and all the other stuff, you can't just leave that stuff out in front of your house. You have HOA rules, covenants and restrictions that you may need to abide by. So make sure you are privy and, and understand what exactly you can and cannot do with your property if you are located in an HOA. Next up, financial stress. 
the financial burden of mortgage payments, maintenance costs, and property taxes can be stressful. Whatever you do, do not maximize your budget at the top of the budget. If you're pre-approved for 300, don't spend $300,000 on a house unless you are 100% certain that's the only house for you. Try to spend underneath what you're maxed out at. Make sure you understand what your monthly payment's gonna be so that you're comfortable with the payment. The price of the house has no bearing. It's only important on what you are comfortable with paying that mo monthly mortgage payment. Market timing. Deciding when to sell can be stressful, especially if market conditions aren't favorable. So think about when, how long you're gonna hold the property, when you're gonna need to sell, can you hold it for a little bit longer if you had to in the event that the market is in not a favorable time and prices aren't favorable if you need to sell. So just things to think about. Next up, responsibility of owning a home can be overwhelming. I've had people that have come to me and said, Mark, this is way more than I thought it was gonna be. I don't feel like taking on this work anymore. I'd like to sell my house and I wanna go rent now. To each their own, right? Nobody says you have to be a homeowner, but making sure you fully understand all of the responsibilities you're gonna have if you decide to purchase a home. Depending on where the location of your home is, you may have to contend with natural disasters, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, floods, these can all cause significant damage. So make sure you understand the area you're buying your home in that some of these things may come up, right? You also need to think about dealing with pests such as termites and rodents and other infestations that can be a reoccurring problem. Make sure you get a pest inspection done. Make sure that you check out the property to make sure there's no issues and that you're not gonna have any pest problems moving forward. Get yourself on an annual service contract where they come out quarterly at the minimum and spray your house. That way you don't have to worry about any bugs flying around or any, any issues. Have a crazy wife that's scared to death of cockroaches like I do. And, well, my wife's not really crazy, just crazily scared of cockroaches, I should say. And you wanna make sure you don't ever have any of those things come out because they will freak out. And equity building. Each payment that you make increases your equity, okay? Sometimes a good chunk of it, sometimes not so much. The first couple years of homeownership, you're paying a ton towards interest, not a lot going towards the principal, okay? But over time, as you pay that, pay that interest down, you're gonna start pay paying more and more into your principal, which will then give you more and more equity in your home. Now you have tax benefits to think about. There are potential deductions for mortgage interest and property taxes. Homes generally increase in value over time. This is what we call appreciation. That's the point of homeownership. Not only just to own something, but you want the property to increase in value over time, right? When you're a homeowner, you also have more space and privacy than when you're renting. You don't have to worry about somebody calling and saying, hey, I'm coming by tomorrow at noon. And then you say, well, I'm not gonna be home. This is your landlord calling. I'm not gonna be home. Oh, it's okay, I have a key, I'll just come in. You got a lot more privacy when you are the one who owns the house and you have the key. Next up, we have real estate stability. It is a great long-term investment. Think about that. Also, if you're only gonna be in an area for a certain amount of time, we deal with this a lot with our military clients. They say, well, I don't know, I'm gonna be getting orders here, I'm gonna be leaving. Guess what? Rent the property, become a landlord. Have that property pay for itself by somebody else paying your mortgage on it, paying the principal balance down, thus building your financial wealth. If you're a homeowner and you are more prone to be in tune with your community, if you own a home. more to, You're gonna be more like apt to go out and join commu the community and be more involved in the community if you plant roots. One thing people have to remember too is you need to always budget. You need to set aside money. You need to have a separate account for maintenance items at your home. That may be going to an extreme, but think about if you did it and you just put a little bit of money in there each, each time. Then guess what, when it's time for a roof, 
You're not dipping into your normal money, you're pulling it out of the house budget money. Or it's time for an air conditioner. Or it's time to paint the house, whatever it may be. These are all things you need to think about as a homeowner that you don't think about that day when you just are going to apply for your loan. These are all things to take into consideration, but there's nothing more rewarding than the day that you close on your very first home. Hope you found this helpful. Hit me up if you have any questions at all about becoming a homeowner or selling a property.